as you do not know Jesus Christ, you are a natural man. To be a spiritual man, you will have to encounter Jesus Christ personally. It so happened that I went into the revival. When I went into the revival, I sat at the rear of the church. To be honest, I don't remember what the preacher spoke. I don't remember anything. But there was a song. A song that was written by Ira Sandy. There were 90 and the 9. I don't, I don't know if you know it. There were 90 and 9 that were saved in the, in the shelter. I heard that song. And that song started to minister to me. That song did something to me. I started to feel different. And it seems as if somebody touched me on my shoulders while they were having, we call it here in Jamaica, the altar call, that those who need to accept Jesus Christ come forward. And I, I felt something different in my life. And then I wanted to go but something is saying, don't go. But I felt somebody touched me on my shoulder and said, you have to go. And I said, I'm not going. I held on the church bench. You, you see how our benches are. I held on onto the bench and said, I'm not going. But that night, it seems as if somebody lifted me out of my seat. And I was there at the altar. While at the altar, because of my background, we call it in Jamaica, roots background. One, we are tough people. We do not, we are not soft guys. We are macho guys, you know? <laughs> so when it comes to crying, we don't cry. But I want to tell you, that night, when I reach the altar, I started to cry. I wept at that altar right there at the church. And what I realized, the more I cried, is the lighter I felt. When I got up from there, I was a different individual. I was a different person. Why? It was at that moment I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I realized, therefore, that that which I was communicating then was not right. I now accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. 